Every once in a while I just like to do a modeling tutorial where I just start from scratch and see where it goes, okay? Kind of freestyle. So that's what we're gonna do today and we're gonna be doing a piece of jewelry, okay? Here we go. All right, so we're in uh, Maya, let's get started. Okay, so uh, let's see. We're gonna start with a uh, polygon sphere and let's uh, scale that up a little bit. Let's hit E to flip it and hold on J as we do that, okay? Hit W to push that out to somewhere around here. And this is kind of free form. I've been looking at a bunch of uh, different types and styles and so forth. So um, yeah, we'll see what we end up with, all right? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a polygon cylinder. Hit E, hold down J, flip that, hit R, scale that. And we're basically gonna hit W and push that straight in here, okay? Now, uh, we are going to tweak that, no worries. We're gonna go to Vertex, we're gonna drag select this. We're gonna hit R to push that way in. Have to zoom in. Okay, we're gonna make that a bit longer. So I'm gonna take this, hit W, push it over here. Now, I'm gonna right click and go to face, drag select these faces and shift to drag select this so we can get rid of those top faces. And then we're gonna go to vertex, drag select, and bring that in here. Now that looks a bit better. Okay, can work with that, All right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two and we're gonna go to uh, mesh and combine, All right? All right, that's our starting point. Now, what we're going to do next is we are going to um, take a polygon cylinder. Let's hit R, pull that up. And then we're going to scale it down, make it nice and thin. Let's hit uh, E to rotate it. Hold on J. Until it's lying flat, and that's the case. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in and let's see, I need to go to insert edit first. Let's do single because I'm gonna smooth this and I want these ends to not be rounded. So now that we have that, hit Q on the keyboard, go back to insert edge loop, option box. This time we're gonna do multiple, let's do two. So we can do two, 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 and then get in there a bit closer because we want these to have enough subdivision like that, okay? Q on a keyboard, object mode, hit R and scale it down a bit more. And maybe stretch it out, okay? All right, so now we have that. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna select this, hit H to hide it, and we got this guy. Now, we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate, we're gonna hit W to move it over like so. And I'm gonna drag select both. Control D again and move that up once again. Once we have all four, go to mesh and combine. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna go to deform, uh, nonlinear and twist. Hit E to rotate the bend handle, flip it down. Go to Control A to open up your attribute editor, take that twist handle, and start to twist it. All right, I think that looks all right. Drag select, edit, delete by type history. There you go. We are going to go to display and show all because I want everything back. We're gonna uh, do another bend handle, so deform, nonlinear, and a bend in this case, or another deform handle to be exact. Hit E to rotate, flip that bend handle down, go in and curve inwards to pretty much there, maybe slightly less. Is it less, yeah, there you go like that so we're going to select it and go to edit delete by type history we're going to hit w we're going to move that up okay and we're going to make sure that that's sitting right so we're going to push that up right there 
and then we're going to E to rotate that. And we'll probably need to adjust that angle in a sec, but let's see. Yeah, we'll fix that in a minute, okay? Right, and then what we're going to do is we are going to go in and create another sphere, okay? So hit W, move that in, move that up, go in here, and we're basically going to move it in like so, okay? Let's uh, see how that looks. It will need to that's actually perfect. That's fine. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate. Now, this guy is at, let's see, 2121. So we're going to move it over to minus 2121. There we go. So let's uh, see what we've got so far. So we got that. This guy we can go to mesh and actually we'll select these. Mesh and combine and then go to mesh and smooth. I think that looks cool. Alright. And then let's see what else. We need uh, kind of a pin at the back here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, create. CV curve tool. And we'll start somewhere around here and we'll just not quite sure I got the right tool here. Hang on. That should be good. Oh, there you go. Like so. All right. We're going to go in. We're going to direct select all of this. We're going to hit H to hide it. Let's go in and um, we'll do a polygon cylinder. We'll go in. Set caps to zero. Then go in, go to face, drag click all of this and delete it. We're gonna select this guy, go to modify and center pivot, hit E to rotate, flip it over. And then we're gonna hit W, bring it down, bring it in. Why is it disappearing on me? I'm not quite sure. But we're good. Okay, so let's hit R and scale this in. And now we can go to display and show all. So I got a better sense of the proportions. This looks uh, pretty good. We can get a face, just like this. Control E to extrude. We're gonna increase subdivision so it will curve like this and then we're going to do a taper as well to make that a nice pin like that okay all right we're going to go to object mode come on object mode we're going to go to uh, edit delete by type history so we can go into the outliner take that curve and delete it we'll go in here we'll right click take that face on top and delete that and then we'll take the whole thing hit W and push that up and in, like so. So that's pretty cool. And uh, that let's see where we're gonna go from there. Uh, we'll add an element to it. So we're gonna jump fuse again. We're gonna go here. And what we'll do is we'll take another curve. And we'll start somewhere around here. And let's just go around. And then 
we're gonna go from here down here and then over something like that okay uh, doesn't look too bad let's see if that's gonna work for us I think it will yeah so we're gonna take another uh, polygon cylinder we're gonna pull that up we're gonna go in to zero let's uh, right click at a face and drag select and delete take this guy and bring it in here and that's where we started have to zoom in we're gonna hit E to flip it around like that and W bring it back a little bit okay now that might be a bit big so we're gonna hit R and we're gonna kind of scale that down a bit I'm gonna right click at a face select and select control E to extrude let's uh, increase subdivision uh, let's do 75 and then we'll do another taper Zero point zero five looks about right let's see how this uh, turns out if we tweak this edge a bit And then we're going to go in and we're going to smooth this guy. Let's see how that looks. Not too bad. Um, we need to add an edge loop though. And what I'm thinking is that we hit one to go back. And we're going to go into face. We're going to drag select just this. And we're going to go to edit delete by type history so we now get rid of this and then here we're going to right click go to edge double click on it hit R pull that together hit W pull that out and pull that down I have to zoom in Let's go to mesh and fill hole, which will now be an end gone, but when we smooth this will be good. We're gonna go to, uh, let's see, insert edge loop option box. Let's do single and set it to one, so we'll snap to the middle. Like that, Q on a keyboard, and then we're gonna double click on this one hit W kind of pull that up a little and then we'll go to mesh and smooth all right so that's kind of how that looks like and uh, I think it looks kind of cool. Maybe we can uh, bring this down a bit. I'm not sure if we're hitting it or not. Modify center pivot. Let's uh, bring that down just a little bit. Okay. So that's just a very simple idea of what you can do. What I'll do is I'll add uh, some uh, color IDs to it. So I want this to be a material, so I'm gonna assign the material and go in, do a, a Lambert. And uh, you know, it doesn't really matter what it is, as long as I have an identifier, okay? We'll do, uh, let's see, mesh and separate, we'll do these guys, and assign the material. We'll do another Lambert. I'll do a material on this, any material Lambert and then we'll do this guy and we can actually even do multiple on this one which is kind of cool if 
actually let's do this and then just to give you an idea what this can look like um, uh, but I'm not going to do that in the video I'm just going to take this into key shot put some materials on it so you have an idea what that can look like okay so uh, yeah one more piece this guy and let's do there you go right so I'm going to drag select this and now we can go to uh, mesh and combine edit delete by type history and now I can export it and I'll uh, you'll see in the thumbnail what it will turn out okay okay guys well that's it just a kind of freeform modeling thing uh, hopefully it will inspire you to come up with something yourself that is really cool uh, thanks very much for watching as always hit that like button uh, if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe okay see you guys next time bye well thanks for watching and before you go please hit that MH button to subscribe okay see you guys next time bye